Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Machen Leira online smicha. Since we're in a few days before Tu B'Shvat, I think it's pr- appropriate to just review two or three basic halachas on the bracha of fruits, things that are very basic and everybody knows about it. But it's always good to refresh your memory. So the first thing I want to tell you is that in Hilchus Bircha Saperis, Simon Reish Beis, Sif Chav Dalid, the Alter Rebbe talks about a shortcut sometimes some people seem to take. They're some, somehow, somehow a little lazy, and not, not, not knowledgeable enough of what bracha should be said for what fruit. So they take the shortcut, and they just figure, what's the safe route? The safe route is Hadama, the safe route is Shahako, because it, it, there are certain brachas that you're always safe with. So now I'm going to read you the Alter Rebbe, the Alter Rebbe says, uh, it's actually the Gemara says, Haraitza uh, uh, chasid, the one who uh, wants to be a chasid, Lukayim, the Gemara says three things that a person should fulfill. One's Mila de Avis, one's Mila de Nazikin, and one opinion holds Mila de Brachas. A person should be careful in the halachas of Brachas. So just to, to find a shortcut and to find an a easy way out is not the right way. Now, to Rebbe puts it very simple. And Alter Rebbe says like this: Kol priya Any fruit that a person is in doubt which bracha to make is it a priya a bayer priya eitz a bayer priya adama, because he didn't he didn't he doesn't know exactly how the fruit grows or uh, he doesn't know exactly what this is. And or if he doesn't know, uh, usually he tries to take the the route of doing shahako, because shahako niyabidvara is something that covers all things. So that's, the Alter Rebbe will say that's plan B, because when we call Makin, nevertheless, in who dover shiyachal the paiter b'tzei chasuda, if it's something that you could eat in the middle of the meal, hu toiv yoyser, that's even better. Sha'az ain't suffic klal, because then you for sure covered your base, and you didn't go into any shayla. Says the Alter Rebbe, v'cholza b'safish in this topic le'yachash alamad, this is only somebody who studies and he learned the halachas, but then he's still short. And, and in fact, he doesn't know this particular thing or something new came up. If you didn't learn Hilchis Brachis, you can't get away with making the Shahako. The Brach of Shahako only covers everything if it was, it was said. Fine. It doesn't, uh, doesn't do the job when you're able to do the right thing. You can't get away just by saying shako. He has the option before you start eating these, these fruits that are shayla to find out what the Allah is and go as etzel hachacham. Point one, make sure to know, to, to study hilchas brachas and to know what bracha is said clearly for what, for what fruit. Then there's another halacha I want to quote. The halacha is how the bracha should be said. What are you supposed to do uh, when, you, when you're about to make a bracha? So the Alter Rebbe says a couple of simanim further. And Simon Reish Vav. The Alter Rebbe says like this. When you make the bracha, as mentioned before, you know already which bracha you should make. So the Alter Rebbe and Simon Reish Vav, Siv Gimel says, Kala'ilu abrachis, whatever bracha you're going to say, you have to be careful not to be mafsik ben abracha la'achila. Not to be mafsik once you made the bracha until you start eating. Afilu me'akavit va'yira. However, if you were mafsik and you did speak something, you have to. You have to. As long as what you spoke had no no importance to the to the tzorech achila, you have to make a bracha again. Says the Alter Rebbe, afilu b'shtika. Even to make to say the bracha and just stay quiet. Is also a hefsik, as long as you, uh, you waited longer than Shalom Alecha Rebbe. So you have to be careful again to say the bracha and eat right away. So, what happens when you're eating a fruit or you're eating an item and then you want to cut it into pieces before you eat it? You don't want to bite into a big thing. So, from one hand, you have the benefit that the bracha has to be said, it's better if it's, it's nicer, it's chashiv, if it's said on the Dover chashiv. From the other hand, if you're going to do it over a Dover chashiv, you're going to have to spend time cutting it later. Says the Alter Rebbe, anything that you cut, la uh, achila, because it's soirach achila, it's not considered a hefsik. So, point one, make sure to know which bracha 
is the fruit is the, or the food that you're going to make, what bracha really has to, has to be said. Number two, make sure there's no hefsek between the bracha and the Then the Alter Rebbe says in Siv Zayin that ain't levarich arosh. Don't make a bracha without a head covering. Siv Ches says the Alter Rebbe that any bracha that you are about to make over a food item, it's perhaps he doesn't say it here, but it's also for mitzvahs, the item that you're making a bracha over it, you have to hold it in your right hand. Then he says an interesting thing. There are those that say that according to Kabbalah, you want to hold the fruit or the item in the right hand. So sometimes to make it easier, you poke a knife into the fruit and you're holding the knife, holding the fruit. Says the Alter Rebbe, Alpi Kabbalah, don't have a knife stuck in to a fruit and then hold it in your right hand. Because that's two opposites. From one hand, you're using the right hand, which is the right hand is a, a symbol of teitzas chayim, teitzas the out uh, of life, a symbol of life, and the sakin, a knife, is the koyach shel esav hamekatzer chayim, and we want to only have positive effect. So you, the bracha should be said, hold as you're holding the item in the right hand.